previous clip has had the internet buzzing for the last couple days. It's a video of sheep walking in a circle from a farm in Inner Mongolia from the city of Bauto. It all started on November 4th when the owner of the sheep noticed that they began walking in a circle in pen number 13 of 34. The occurrence had her dumbfounded. At first, only a few sheep took part, but slowly, every sheep in the pen began walking in almost a perfect clockwise circle. So she took the video and posted it to the internet, and it quickly went viral. When she posted it, she didn't realize the traction it would gain, but it's had the internet buzzing. People are coming up with all sorts of different theories on what's going on. Theories from it's a common disease known as listeriosis, which affects the brain of the sheep, but health officials who went and checked the sheep out said they're perfectly healthy and there's nothing wrong with that. Common symptoms of listeriosis are just that, sheep walking in circles, but usually they die within 24 to 48 hours of contracting the disease. Once they start showing symptoms, they don't have long. Well, these sheep have been doing this for days, 12 days in a row, and that number may be even more now. The last reports showed that it could be 12 to 14 plus. Since the listeriosis theory has been thrown out, the internet has been coming up with all sorts of different ideas, from the end of days to pole shifts. And what's more, these sheep aren't the only animals to begin doing this. Creatures from all across the globe have been displaying similar behavior. The following clip takes us to a police station in Maragua, Kenya, where bats started doing the same thing. And before I continue, I want to remind you all to please smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. If you're on Facebook, follow and like my page so my videos end up in your newsfeed. And also comment and share. It helps me get into the algorithm and it pushes my videos further to further grow my page. That is, of course, if you like out of this world content. I hope y'all are enjoying. Now back to the video. As you can see in the video, the officers there are doing what they can to deter them, making loud noise, some even possibly firing at them, but it doesn't work. They continue to fly in a circle around the police station. So what does this mean? Your guess is as good as anybody's, but I have reason to believe it could possibly be due to the magnetic poles or the magnetics that Earth puts off. They're switching, rotating, or something along those lines. That's just a theory though. Others suggest that it's just typical animal behavior, that they're doing it to try and protect the weaker, younger members of the flock or the herd. Check out this next clip. It looks like it's somewhere in Europe and the horses are displaying the same behavior yet again. They do so for a short period of time before they are broken up and it doesn't stop there. Reindeer are starting to do the same thing. Now, the only difference is, is they're walking in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. This is the same way the horse is rotated. Now, I don't know if it's because they're in different geographical locations than the sheep or what, but nevertheless, they're still walking in a near perfect circle. Check it out. The only difference is, is reindeer have displayed this behavior in the past. Say when getting attacked by wolves, for example, they'll form a circle around the weaker, younger members of the herd. But this isn't the case here. This is just a massive herd of reindeer doing the exact same thing, circling in a near perfect circle counterclockwise. It's very peculiar and very odd behavior, and it definitely is cause for wondering what is going on. And last but not least, we have a rhino at a zoo starting to display again the same behavior, walking in a perfect circle all by itself. The zookeeper noticed it and started filming, wondering exactly what it's doing. Now, people are saying this is what they were doing in the days of Noah before the great flood. They're beginning to gather. Many feel that it is the display of the end of days that they're gathering in their herds and flocks because something big is coming. So. You'll see all kinds of narratives on the internet saying prepare, find Christ, etc. This same type of behavior is displayed every year for a month out of the year 
at the Mecca province of Saudi Arabia. Known as the Majid al-Haram, the Great Stone of Mecca is located in the holiest city of Islam. This mosque is believed by Muslims to have been built by Abraham and Ishmael. In Mecca, the city is believed to be where the Islamic prophet Muhammad was born, in the Hira Cave atop the mountain Jabal al-Nur, or the Mountain of Light. So every year, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Muslims, gather at the same time to give thanks and worship around this black stone. And what they do is, shoulder to shoulder, they walk in mass, in a circle, around the mosque. Here's some video of it. Check it out. And the reason they do that, namely, is to give thanks to Allah, but it's also to make them closer to Allah. It's to bring them closer to their God, and that He is their all-knowing and all-faithful God. So maybe the people who think the animals walking in circles could be a religious omen aren't far off. So what do you all think? Could it be the end of days? Do you think this is a sign of what's to come? Or are the poles shifting, the magnetic ley lines changing on earth? Are we coming into a new era? Do you think that it could be the Lord's flock gathering that something big is about to happen? Let me know in the comments. And if you don't think it's either, let me know as well. I want to hear new theories of what y'all think it could possibly be. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's obvious something's going on. There's a lot more than just these displays that are saying that maybe the end of days is here. The drying up of the Euphrates, for example. I hope not. I really do. I hope we live long, prosperous lives, and I would really hope that <laughs> the prophecies aren't coming true. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay in the love, stay in the light, treat others how you want to be treated, and stay tuned. More to come. I am out.